we have our fourth and final speech this evening. Uh, this person has uh, did a speech last week. They're going to go for the back to back. Uh, Mr. Marimu, Marimu Darungu. Is that close? Right? Is that? The name of the speech is Upgrading Your Software. You've been with Toastmasters for six months. Your uh, six siblings comes from New York City. They're right outside of Pineville, North Carolina, I guess. <laughs> uh, he, come on up. Thank you so much. Barnes and Nobles, right? 
And that was an everyday thing. I started doing that daily, daily. Started going there. I would just sit on the floor and just get a bunch of books and lay them out on the floor and just go through pages and pages. And the person working there would come by and say, listen, man, when are you going to start buying some of these books? I'm tired of seeing you in here every day. So I started buying the books. And the next, the next book that I bought was The 50th Law. And it said, I showed some of my friends, and it said 50 cents. They looked at me like, man, listen, what are you trying to do? You're rapping now. I said, no. But the book is about fear, right? Most of us, what stops us in life is fear. So once I went through this book, I was like, whoa, fear is really a lie. So I'm going to start attacking all of the fears that held me back in life. So this is the book that really, really, really inspired me. But the third book is what changed my life, Psycho Cybernetics. And Kurt brought this book in about a week or two ago when he did his speech. But when I read this book, I got so inspired because I started looking at my mind like a computer. Right? I started looking at my mind like a computer. I went on Amazon and I bought seven books and I gave them all out to my family and friends. And guess how many of them read? Zero. Zero. One of them said that they read it, but then I asked him a couple of questions and he still couldn't answer them, so I knew he didn't read them. So the next thing that my mentor told me to do was start listening to some good Jim Rohn. Because this is what he said, for things to get better, you got to get better, right? For things to change, you have to change. So once I started learning these principles and applying them to my life, and guess what I found out? Most of the friends that I had in my life were not there anymore. Because birds of a feather flock together. And this is what my mentor told me. 95% of your success is going to come from the books that you read and the people that you hang around. So I started thinking. I said, uh, he's not about nothing. What about him? He doesn't do anything either. So I started finding people that were successful. And the reason why I joined Toastmasters is because a lot of you people in here are way better than me when it comes to speaking. And I came here and I was inspired. And the first thing that I did was I signed up for a speech the next time I could get a speech. The reason is because this is what my mentor told me. If better is available, then your best isn't good enough. Don't wish things were easier, wish you were better. 